The eventual end of the manual transmission is only one of the many worries that auto fans have had since the development of electric automobiles. Many enthusiasts find it alluring to consider the possibility of manually shifting a Toyota hybrid. On the other hand, it's frightening to consider losing the sense of control one has over a vehicle when changing gears. Toyota, on the other hand, is adopting a distinctive strategy by submitting patent applications for devices that would let electric vehicles mimic the experience of driving a manual transmission vehicle. Can we get a manual Toyota hybrid? Let's find out. People who enjoy driving fast cars and those who enjoy sticking with the gears don't quite fit into a circle on a Venn diagram. The overlap, though, is substantial. When buying a new car, manuals were once the domain of frugal buyers. However, they are no longer as popular as they once were due to the declining cost and rising efficiency of automatic and continuously variable transmissions. These days, performance vehicles are more likely to have them than low-cost vehicles. The emergence of plug-in hybrids PHEVs, the Goldilocks cousins of electric vehicles EVs, pose a danger to the manual. All modern hybrid and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles PHEVs, have some sort of automatic transmission, while EVs don't even have a single transmission. But Toyota has just recently submitted a patent application for a manual transmission designed for performance in PHEV and hybrid vehicles. According to sources, Toyota claims in its patent application that it knows what enthusiasts prefer, and as a result, what it proposes is not a clutch-by-wire system that mechanically disconnects the clutch pedal from the real hydraulic clutch actuation mechanism. As a result, a hybrid or PHEV might operate with three pedals. A manual transmission for electric vehicles is currently being tested by Lexus. How does the Toyota Hybrid Manual operate? To mimic a manual gearbox, the hybrid Toyota car's manual transmission system makes use of a number of different parts. For instance, the system employs a third pedal that is fitted with a pedal reaction force generator. To simulate the sensation of a clutch that is only partially disengaged, it applies pressure and vibrations to the driver's foot. Like the pseudo clutch pedal, the shifter contains a reaction force actuator that adjusts resistance based on the location of the shifter. Using this data, the powertrain control module can then adjust the vehicle's output based on the fictitious engine RPMs shown on a tachometer. The electric motor will imitate the automobile stalling if the simulated RPM drops too low. With this method, drivers will be able to experience manual driving without the need for a conventional combustion engine. The handling of the clutch is the primary concern of the patent. A shuttle valve that has multiple clutch cylinders would be part of the relatively complex transmission. The clutch pedal and the ECU would then be connected to these in turn. Thus, the driver could choose gears that were similar to what they would find in a manual transmission. The clutch connected to the ECU would aid in a seamless transition between the engine and the electric motor of the vehicle. When the car is coasting to a stop or is taking off, the computer could intervene and effectively depress the clutch, allowing the electric motor to take over as needed. Because of how the valves are set up, despite what the ECU desires, the driver will always be able to depress the clutch. In accordance with the patent, a driving mode is also permitted in which the computer completely shuts down and the clutch pedal is the only control device for the transmission. Since hybrid powertrains are becoming more and more popular in performance vehicles, the patent will undoubtedly be attractive to enthusiasts. It also makes sense given Toyota's patent for an electric vehicle with a simulated manual transmission, which shows the Japanese automaker's continued interest in wooing auto enthusiasts as the sector electrifies. What is the market size for hybrid automobiles with manual transmissions? Although there isn't much of a market for manual hybrids, Toyota believes there is room for growth. The company has set its sights on giving drivers of electric cars the experience of a manual transmission. The system will provide drivers with a comfortable driving environment, claims Toyota. The challenges of using a conventional manual transmission are simultaneously diminished. The manufacturer thinks this invention can draw motorists who wish to enjoy the thrill of a manual transmission without the inconvenience of conventional applications. The question of whether there is a substantial demand for this kind of hybrid car still needs to be answered. The patents provide a distinctive selling point. The availability of a sizable market for this kind of innovation is still an open topic. In the end, whether or not drivers find this technology appealing will determine its success. Whether it can offer a real advantage over current solutions is another consideration. In the end, Toyota's patents for an electric vehicle with a simulated manual transmission may appear to be a clever invention. 
It must be made clear, however, that there is a genuine need for such a system. Such a setup might be used as a manual gearbox training vehicle for someone who wants to learn and practice it. At the end of the day, Toyota's innovation is an intriguing answer looking for a problem. It does, however, demonstrate that automakers continue to strive to offer enjoyable driving experiences despite switching to electric powertrains. Toyota might continue to produce gas-powered performance cars. These days, Toyota's performance vehicles with a racing aesthetic can be found under the GR brand. GR, which stands for Gazoo Racing, is the motorsports division of Toyota. It participates in racing competitions across various continents and directs the creation of high-performance vehicles for the road. The GR Supra, GR86, and GR Corolla are all part of the current GR lineup. A GR Yaris is available internationally. Rumors about the brand's peril had persisted for some time, but the division recently received a fresh start from the new Toyota CEO, Koji Sato. The Gazoo brand will be recognized in the future, and perhaps we can even hasten this process, Sato said last week in a report. Akio Toyoda, the company's founder's grandson, stepped down as president and CEO, and Sato just assumed that position. Although Sato has been asked to take over the day-to-day -day running of the business, Toyoda will continue to serve as the board's chairman. Given that Toyoda is a unique person, that is a fascinating development for auto aficionados. He is more than just a boss in the workplace. He is a well-known race car driver. Most of the GR vehicles on the market today were developed with direct input from Toyota. Under the moniker of Morizo, his driving alias, he has had a solid career in the top tiers of international racing. In a report, Sato claimed that Toyota may now have more time to oversee passion projects for GR as he is no longer responsible for managing the business on a daily basis. Our master driver was also president of the company at the same time as he had a steering wheel in his hand for Gazoo. Now that he is only chairman, maybe he will have a lot more time to develop cars for them, he remarked. The more popular Toyota brand is concentrating on making the switch to electric vehicles and expanding on its enormous sales advantage in the hybrid vehicle segment. However if you read between the lines, the company is also implying a revitalized GR division and an effort to create electric and hybrid vehicles that auto enthusiasts will adore. Meanwhile, in a separate report it says that the 2024 Toyota Tacoma will offer a manual. A brand new Toyota Tacoma will take the place of the outdated existing generation. It is assumed that the six-speed manual will die with it when it dies. Toyota appears to be concentrating on updating the truck since the teasers have revealed that it will feature a hybrid drivetrain, a removable speaker, and finally an advanced rear brake system. However, the traditional feature manual transmission is still available, the company announced on Tuesday. According to the company's statement, legends are more than automatic, they always come in clutch. Subscribe to get the latest information about the brand new 2024 Toyota Tacoma, which is offered with a six-speed manual transmission. Having said that, what do you think of this episode? Which do you prefer, an automatic or manual transmission? Let us know in the comment box below. And if you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.